Hello and welcome to another Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nigel, also known as a Lake Erie vlogger. And today is a slightly different video. It is all based on Lake Erie because I am a Lake Erie vlogger. And uh, there's gonna be no sea do in this one and no ships of the Great Lakes. Today I was down by Lake Erie and Everything was just happening down here. Uh, we had a rescue take place. Uh, I was watching an unfolding situation in front of my very eyes and called it in. So we ended up watching a rescue take place. Then I came back down a bit later on to see the weather system that was passing through. And then at the end of it, I just saw all the algae appear. So a bit of everything in this video. So enjoy. This was me on Lake Erie yesterday. Very, very calm. Today, however, was very much a different situation. Uh, the weather was notorious. I had gone down there to the waterfront just to look around, have a coffee, and I'd been there for about 20 minutes. I noticed a couple of sailboats out there that were bobbing around, and um, after a bit, I noticed one of them was getting into difficulties. The sail was missing, you pulled it down, and so on. So I monitored this for quite a while. Then at around 12.49, I posted this on X, uh, notifying people in the area, and also to the world, of course, that there's a boat out there probably in difficulty. And then at 12.56, I ended up calling the Coast Guard because it was quite clear that the, uh, the support boat with them could not toss over the rope and they could not connect themselves and they were drifting very, very quickly. So here's the rescue. Looks like the boat, the, the, the boat that's accompanying them is now just tossed them a rope. It looks like he's gonna try and tow them into the marina here. Well, the boat launch here, but the winds are very strong out of the west right now. So this is gonna be a bit of a struggle for them. One has to ask, why do these people go out in such poor conditions? I mean, there's no other boaters out today, none whatsoever. Not even crazy uh, jet ski riders. All right, this is not looking good. At least they've all got life vests on. Uh, I think the boat's having to leave them now because they're getting close to very shallow water there. Okay, they might make it out because it does go a little deeper there. If you can grab them now and get a rope on them, he'll be all right. Okay, another update. Uh, just been in touch with the Coast Guard. The, uh, the sailboat has just made it to shore. They're about 300 meters west of Bernard Road, but the powered vessel is still making its way, and the fire uh, boat is now en route. Yeah, looking at that vessel now, it looks like the powered vessel may be in trouble too. He's only about, he's about a kilometer and a half away from where we are. So they're on the way to get it now. Size these waves coming in now. Now the uh, powered vessel is just over there somewhere. These bloody kids here, fishing, have just lost their whole fishing line in the boat dock when the emergency boat's got to come back. And they've left it, they just cut it loose and it's just a lot of it there. It's just floated out, but it's stuck on something and they gave up. And those are your kids. Tell them not to fish there. Yeah, you would very much prefer if you put them on the shore at your earliest convenience. Um, we're just we're anticipating uh, the possibility of significant damage to their vessel when they do so. So it looks like it hit the rocks pretty hard then and it got significant damage. And yeah, that happened as soon as it started heading that way. Crazy being out in this. I know it's a sailing club, but uh, no other boat is out here. None of the bigger boats are even out here. They knew it was going to be so bad. 70 km an hour winds. You just don't come out here. For the NRP uh, temp temperature update, they will accept the uh, bring them up to the Crystal Beach. Uh, slip there. Are you going to stay with them until they reach 
Myrtle Beach. Where was it? Yeah. So the, t uh, they managed to uh, hook up the uh, sailboat to one of the uh, boats from the, uh, the sailing club and they're towing it back uh, with the fire uh, boat uh, just in front of them to make sure they get back. Apparently take, they're going to make it all the way over to Bay Beach which is a bit bizarre in these weather conditions. Apparently a boat went out to help them and now they can't find that boat and they can't find him. And it's funny because I did see those two extra boats showed up and they're going to see the one. So I don't know where he went. This is all unfolding. He's with boat four, so he they got him. Yeah, so the boat four's got the sailboat in tow, and it looks like this guy with the center mast blue whaler is uh, towing the the sailboat as well. So. It's just ridiculous to go out in these conditions. Absolutely ridiculous. Any mariner would tell you that. Man, I'm standing there, I'm like blowing over. Ah, some big waves coming. Look at these, really whipping up again. Holy moly. I've braced myself for this one. I mean, these are two meter waves. Six feet in places. You can see how, look at the boat literally just disappeared behind that wave there. Straight up. That's a six to eight foot swell right there they were in. Crystal Beach and we've got a nice squall line coming down which is the end of that heat wave we just had basically. Uh, the temperatures have already dropped earlier on today uh, but they're going to drop a little bit more once this line comes through. It's a very thin line and uh, the worst of it is over that way towards Niagara Falls. We've got the end edge of it coming down this end. It's a nice line. I'll put the little uh, video, the animation up on the uh, screen right now so you can see. So it's going to be pushing down. It's moving at a really good rate and it'll probably be over us in about five minutes time. And uh, it's going to be fast, and when these the winds we've already got right now are going to pick up a lot more than what they are now. Uh, we've just seen a boat, he's now hurriedly getting back to shore because I think he's realised something big's coming. Um, look at the clouds. Still sunny on that side. We did have an anvil over there, but it just died. <laughs> Alright, we'll just check the radar again. I'll put the image up right now. It literally just broke up completely. It was literally barreling down upon us. 
this, uh, the southern end of that line has completely died right off. We've got the time lapse up, hopefully get some nice uh, cloud footage anyway. Right, nice hair look at that beautiful all right the uh the cell and the squall i should say the squall line completely disintegrated kind of expected it everything dies here but we've got a great time lapse video which i've got of the clouds so we've got something on the video uh the lake is so discombobulated right now it doesn't know what it wants to do which way it wants to go the currents are all over the place we've got winds coming one way and they've got the current going the other way it's all really screwed up Right now that wind has done that squall line has pushed all the uh, algae into this little cove here at Crystal Beach at the uh, bow ramp. <laughs> Look at it, it's like pea soup. Right now as I'm standing here, the wind gusts have literally just picked up right again. And you can tell these waves are just coming out of nowhere right now. Uh, we didn't have waves like that 30 seconds ago. Look at these. A blink of an eye and it completely changed. And that one got me. Holy moly. So there have it folks, there's always something happening down on Lake Erie, whether it's weather, a rescue, uh, bad times, good times, there's something always happening down here. So whenever you're on Lake Erie, make sure you stay safe.